Calling all golfers that struggle with a slice and want to hit your hybrid better, longer and straighter. Let's do it. Let's do it now. Hi everyone, James Robinson here guys. First things first, um, you join us today in an area which um, there's someone missing, but anyway, we don't need to worry about him, mate, do we? No, he's, he's on his jolly, isn't he's on, he? Well, he's, he's, he's working, apparently. Working. How are you? I'm good, thanks, how are you? I'm all right, thank you. Better now we're here on a Friday evening and we're on the Trackman range. Ooh, what's that? R2-D2. Coming for you, is it your mate? So you used to watch Robot Wars. I did, yeah. What did he used to say? Engage! Sergeant Bash or something like that, <laughs> wasn't it? Anyway, so we've got the mm. Trackman mm. range on here, so we're going to try and... Oh, I didn't mean to press I'm done then, but we're going to try and capture all the ball flights for you, Foxy. And we're going to capture your hybrid, which is a Mizuno Fly High. Yep. And you struggle with a bit of a slice, don't you? A little bit, yeah. So, do you want to reveal what we're going to test today? What we're going for. Oh, even putting that one down. Look at this. So, just pan that round so we can see that. And it is, it's got plenty of offset on it, but it's the Callaway Big Bertha B21. And it's a four hybrid, which is actually exactly the same it's as- Exactly the same as the what's old- What's down yonder. Yeah, so faithful. what we're gonna do is see exactly which hybrid will go underneath the coveted Secret Valley Resort head cover for this season. Ooh. And we're gonna just hit 10 shots with each. We're gonna mix and match, see which one suits us best. And we are in. Chris's Bay. We should give a huge shout out to the guys at Waterfront Golf Club. Thank you so much for having us down. We have done a few videos here on the Trapman Range before and it's absolutely brilliant. It's the first time you've been, isn't it? Yeah, I've been, I've had a little play up putting before, but actually on Trapman Range itself. It, Decent time, for a yeah. Friday night and a few beers? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's nice, it's nice to see, we've had a little play up, it's nice to see on the actual Trapman where your ball does actually go. And what, yeah. It's nice, yeah. Right, so what, what are, you gonna, are you gonna start with your own? No, I'm going to throw myself in at deep end. Okay. I don't like doing things by halves, do I? Absolutely not, mate. Now, and one thing I'd say as well is Fox's hybrid has been his favourite club, but if it goes wrong, it goes like really, all right. Really, really wrong. It goes a long way right, doesn't it, mate? Yeah. So, uh, even if we maybe give up a little bit of distance with this hybrid, just to get dispersion, do you think maybe? We'll just to it. get it straighter, mate. Yeah, yeah, right. So, ten of your best or ten of your worst, whichever. And we'll just, go. Just 10 of what I've got. 10 of oat, mate, yeah, really. Um, well, what you can do here at Waterfront on the Trapman range as well, so we're going to select a target. Which target are we going for? Um, top left, 220? Yeah, let's go top yeah. left, 220. So we're on that one. And then we select a club, and it is... We'll go three hybrid, because it's there. I'm going to convert it so it does say that we're going to give the performance of your shot with premium, and, uh, premium balls and no wind. Mm. So there we go. Excellent news. Guys, also remember, do hit those comments below and let me know what hybrid are you using at the moment. Are you using a hybrid? Should you be using a hybrid? What handicap are you? Oh, he struck that well. Oh my God. He struck that really well. What's this ball? That is online as well. That's it for today. That's the cat amongst the pigeons, mate, isn't it? 194 yeah. yards, brilliant. Brilliant. What should we do? Should we go two or three of each and change it up? Five, 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 five. 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 Keep it. Comes to about 20, that mate, doesn't it? Something about. Oh. 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 Where's that gone? Right. That's the one we were hoping to save, though, isn't it? I felt all. Yeah, it wasn't the best strike by the look nah, of the numbers it, either. They were terrible. To be fair. I've got giddy after that first good one. Yeah, that's fine. Looking for a 250 carry. Yeah. Happy to go again? Yeah. What a lovely evening. We should have gone and played, shouldn't we? I did look, say. You did say, you're right. But it was pit Not often you're right, but you're right today. It was pit lane as well, so I wanted it. Which is really Hmm. I don't mind that as a miss. Have you got the robot? Nearly. Definitely don't mind that as a miss. No. That's the one which we're going to be fairly happy with. 170 total. Little bit of a pea runner. Shooter. Whatever. Worm burner. That's the one. Yeah. 
And that's the one that worries me slightly. As you get to be a better golfer, do you need that anti-slice technology? Because you have been working on it, you look, you're looking like you're getting better. Do you want that kind of shot that could be a bit annoying for you? Mm. And again, that's going to be down to technique. It's going to be down to inconsistencies before people jump in the comments down his throat. But how consistent can we make it with changing the club? What was that one like? That was straight as an arrow. Left? It wasn't horrendous. I dare say it was more aimed. Than... Yeah. How many have you hit, by the way? Is that five now? Sounded amazing, that one. It's gone again, it's, it's straight, but it's, it's left again. So if we have a look at those opening five, and we go view table. I knew you hit six. Sorry. I knew you couldn't count. Anyway, um, it's not giving us an average, but if we look at, where are we here? Total, 213, which was the last one. 182, 164, 164, 168, sorry, 134, 194. So all in all, not bad. Um, we don't want to delete any of those, do we? No. So then, should we get yours on? Let's have a go. And if you put these clubs down, Foxy, because obviously that's got a bit of a bearing as well, so both of them down together is the one that you prefer the look of, is the one you prefer the feel of. Obviously, Mizuno has got a steel shaft as well, which might give you a little bit of a different feel compared to the graphite. I do like the look of the, uh, the Calway one. Yeah, do you like how it's towed in? It will put me off because my bad shot's left, but for you... It's, it's slightly off-putting looking how it's towed in and the face looks really, really, really flat. Yeah. Almost. So I think You've not got I, that bulge and roll, have you, like you have on the No, like, like, I feel with this one, it just, it just glides a little bit better. If I, if I dig this in a little bit toey or something, it snags a lot. Mm. Like this one, I think we get away with a lot more. Yeah. Left and right as opposed to... Yeah, just right. eliminating one side of the yeah. course. If we look at the battle scars on yours as well, um, it's, uh, it's seen a bit of wear, mate, hasn't it, that one? So, right, six of your best. Thoughts? Happy, really happy. It's just, just fading slightly right again. Good numbers as well, very good numbers. But I'm, that's what I'm used to seeing with this, mm -hmm. this club. Do you think maybe the anti-slice B21 is a bit too extreme, maybe? I think maybe it's looking that way, but mm -hmm. we'll have a look. Swing's looking phenomenal. Again, just fading again. Yeah, what's the handicap at the minute? 26. 26 in shots like that. 208 on there, look. Frightening. And the two pretty much identical shots again, aren't they? They are. And you know what, consistency-wise, I'm almost thinking this video might be shorter than what we anticipated. And again, like I said, we have put some work into it and it is looking better. That's, I mean, again, that's not, it's not, not horrendous, is it? Let's go three more and we'll, have, we'll compare six for six. You just want to get in the bar, mate, and have a beer, don't you? No, no, no. Not like that. Yep, yep, yep. Bloody strike again. See, that's, that's the one further right than I'd like it. Yeah. That's one where I think so I'm, looking at that. I mean, you might I'm, be an issue. Hopefully, I'll put all these on screen for you, but if not, it's 201 yards, mate. You're chipping across, aren't you? Yeah. Is this around your 200 yard club? Yeah, I'd say this is. Definitely 200 yard, normally between 2 and 220, yeah. I like to think on a, on a course. Sound. And they don't get better than that. Does not get better than, that's on the line as well. Good, very okay. good. Do we need one more? I think for six for six we do. You got to do, aren't we you? We do, yeah. Anyone with OCD, they're going to be pulling their hair out. Yeah. Any difference, interestingly, in feel, in sound? Obviously, we can tell a bit of a difference in sound, but... For me, it feels just so much more balanced, you know, for the head. I honestly I think, think that's a lot of that's down to the steel shaft. I think so. So many people jump into graphite shafts to get more speed, obviously, for more club head speed, for lighter clubs. But realistically, if you've got a, 
I always remember when I was using the V-Steel tailor-made fairway woods back in the day with the steel shaft, that was some of the best golf that I was playing because I just kind of could feel it all the way through. Yeah. As soon as you put graphite in something, obviously, yes, you're going to gain speed, but you might lose a little bit of feel, a little bit of consistency. Yeah, I do back, definitely, definitely feel like I've got better control over club yeah. face, definitely. Let's go for a 220 then, mate, a big oh, one. stepping on it. Like you're on the tee and you just want to get it pumped out there. Yeah, but that's interesting because that's the shot we're trying to avoid. And before we leave, I am because it's good numbers again. But I'm going to try and get you to hit one as hard as you can with the anti slice one. See what? Because when that. club head speed comes in, that makes a big difference. Right, let's just have a look at those six for six. So as you can see, twelve shots and the top twelve are Fox's last six. No, the top six are his last six. Uh, two hundred one, one nine three, two hundred one, one nine five, two hundred eight. So as consistent as, and the 193 as consistent as it's going to get, really. And then the ball flights, were they, they weren't that different, were they? No, I had one really quite straight, one a little bit left, and then just a few just fading just off towards the yeah. end, and then one not horrendous bad. Yeah. But. So to finish, let's get you to hit one as hard as possible with the B21, the bomber, yeah. and see if it can just stop that slice for you when you really try and go after it. Because Ooh, I've got a feeling you're not going to change on the basis of today. But if you can eradicate the one where you really try and hit it, because you are using that driver at the minute, we should probably say that's the reason for this video, isn't it? Yeah, and I really am getting on with that, I think. Yeah. That is on line. Cat amongst pigeons. No. Yeah, but look away, it's on the line, yeah. mate. That's the difference. And that's where people watching this video, I want you to take that, yes, a slice can be destructive, it can be annoying, it can be frustrating. There's ways and means of battling it. I think you're doing really, really well without having to necessarily use the anti-slice clubs. They're definitely helping you at the minute. But when you really try and hit one hard, they were very similar swings, those last two. Yeah. Um, and that one's gone bang on line, and your Mizuno was a little bit off line. Just so. a tiny bit, yeah. Just a tiny so, bit. There yeah. we go. Is there something in it? So it's kind of leaving. So it's kind of leaving this video on a bit of an open-ended question. But on the basis of this, if this was a fitting, you've seen the ball flights. We've all seen some of the ball flights. Would you want to change it? I'd want to do a little bit more testing. I'd want to be, feel really, really comfortable with my swing first. Mm -hmm. That last one I felt comfortable with my swing. A couple of my first ones with this didn't feel too great. So it yeah, might even let's go one more then. Let's sign them out with one more. I have no idea, I've lost it. That is a little bit left, actually. A little bit left, and I bet it's a big one because it sounded good. 208. Hmm. It's what, what do you prefer? Do you prefer them slightly left or slightly right? <laughs> For you, I think slightly left at the minute. Yeah. Just to have a different angle in from, uh, from your approach shots. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Explore some different areas of Woolly Park you've not seen before. Yeah. That was toey. So that's going to be left if it was toey then. No, it won't. No, be right. right. So face right. Very toey. But it saved it again. That's what interests me the most when you hit your real bad one, because that's probably one of your worst strikes. And if that was with the Mizuno, it'd probably be more like over here. Yeah. So it that's was. interesting. I think. What? So on the basis of that, we've already done a, we've already done a outro, but we've had a conclusion. Some on course testing, maybe. I think. I that's, think so. I think that's where all these videos generally end up, isn't it? So. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Really hope you have enjoyed that. Lots of food for thought. Hit the comments below if you want to see us test this on the golf course. We've got the three wood to test as well. So the driver's going really well for him. So um, I don't think he necessarily needs the irons because his irons are on fire. And apart from that, thank you ever so much to the guys here at Waterfront for hosting us. Make sure you do get down if you want to practice productively and get a beer like we're going to do now. Hey. Bye.